whenever we watch a movie, there's usually a plot. And in that plot of the movie, there's the characters there um, who belongs like to the good and to the bad. And you know, there will be conflict, right? There will be a fight between the, the, the good and the bad. And for us, we would always hope that, you know, at the end, it will be the good that will prevail. You know, but what if at the end, it was the bad who prevailed? And in the end of the movie, I'm sure I would go uh, and uh, ask for my, my, my movie tickets to be reimbursed because I was hoping for a good ending. You know, in our first reading today, uh, the Israelites were fighting the Philist Philistines, okay? And they were being defeated. So they brought the Ark of the Covenant. You know, the Ark of the Covenant, uh, it's a sacred portable chest, okay? It's uh, the most sacred object in the tent and also in the temple, okay? And what's inside the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant? The manna that was given in the desert, the Ten Commandments, the two tablets, and the staff of Aaron, so they brought it. They, 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 the Israelites truly believe that if they have the Ark of the Covenant, the Philistines will be defeated. And when the Philistines heard that they have the Ark of the Covenant, they, 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 they got scared. But they fought. They fought the Israelites, and they won. End of the movie. No. If you continue reading uh, the first uh, a book of Samuel in chapter 4, the Lord allowed that to happen. During that time, uh, Eli was the high priest, and he has two sons, very evil. In, in fact, in, in 1 Samuel chapter two, 2, verse 17, it says there, Thus the sin of the young men, the two, children of, uh, the two sons of uh, Eli, was very great in the sight of the Lord, for they treated the offerings of the Lord with contempt. Okay? And because of that, so he allowed, he permitted the Israelites to be defeated, even with the Ark of the Covenant. And then, of course, the, the Philistines confiscated the Ark of the Covenant, and the Lord permitted this to show His power and glory. The Philistines, they put the, the Ark of the Covenant in their temple, and they have this uh, god called Dagon. <laughs> and every time they, they, they put the Ark of the Covenant, the following day, they saw the, the god would fall down. And also what happened there was that in that city, in the town, people experiencing tumors. There was a plague. So they transferred the Ark of the Covenant in that city. They experienced this plague also, these tumors. And they said, no, we need to send this Ark of the Covenant back to the, to the Israelites. And so they put the Ark of the Covenant in a wagon pulled by two cows. And they said, no, we can't just return the Ark of the Covenant by itself. We need to give them something, repayment for our sins. So they put five gold mice representing the five Philistines kings <laughs> and also five tumors, gold, representing the tumors that they experienced. So they said, they said, okay, if, if this cart will go to this place, Beth Shemer, it means it's God who is causing behind all this. But if this cart will go to another place, then this happens by chance. And this cart went to that town. So it was really the Lord, you know, who's behind uh, all this. Right. This reminds me that all of us were in a spiritual battle. And we go on to this battleship. But unfortunately, many Christians, they don't think that way. That when they board the ship, they thought it's a cruise ship, not a bottle ship. And it reminds me of the, the dream of St. John Bosco, wherein this battleship was fighting the, the enemy in front of the battleship. On the right is Mary, and on the left is the Eucharist. We might not have the Ark of the Covenant now, but Mary is the new Ark of the Covenant. And what's inside Mary is Jesus, right? So we're, for, we're not fighting this on our own. We have Jesus and Mary to fight for us and before us. That's why for us, we need to stand up and take courage. And it seems that we're going to be defeated. But no, we know at the end who would win in this battle. That's why we need to stand up. We need to take courage. Our Lord and Our Lady are fighting for us.